You ever wonder how artificial intelligence can help you become a better wet on wet painter or paint along with Bob Ross? No? Just me? All right. I had a friend help me create an AI bot that watched the entire Joy of Painting series from Bob Ross. That's right, all 403 episodes, grand totaling over 168 hours. And at the very end of it, we asked the AI bot to give us the best Bob Ross tips. This is gonna be fun, here we go. Bob Ross AI tip number one, try using a limited palette. Ross typically used a limited palette of just a few colors which can help you focus more on color mixing and blending. I'm gonna show you a very easy way using a very limited palette how to do one of the neatest little winter scenes and you can change it to fit whatever area that you live in, okay? Bob Ross AI tip number two. Bob Ross would often use his wet on wet technique to create paintings with colors that would create softer, more blended effects. And by using those little crisscross strokes, you'll find that it's much, much easier to blend this together when we start blending, rather than just drawing a big circle around there. All these little loose lines here are much easier to blend together than one big solid line. Bob Ross AI tip number three. Often Bob Ross paintings would have a vignette appearance to focus the eye towards the center of the painting. Maybe we'll do like a little vignette today, since I've painted the whole canvas. That sounds like it'd be fun. I'll show you a very, very simple little winter scene that is exciting. People will like it. People will like it. Bob Ross AI tip number four. Use the right brushes and different brushes. Ross often used a variety of brushes in his paintings to create many different textures and effects. And I'm gonna grab one of the small round brushes. This is the new brush that we introduced in this series. It's just like the big round brush, only it's about half the size, and it, it's just really nice for sneaking into all those little areas there. Bob Ross AI tip number five. Create a sense of depth. Bob Ross often used a technique called Almighty Mountain to create a sense of vast depth in his landscapes by painting the foreground darker and cooler in color and the background lighter and warmer. <laughs> Welcome back, I'm glad you could join me today. Today I thought we'd do a great big almighty mountain. I think you'll really enjoy this one. Bob Ross AI tip number six. Emphasize the importance of practice. Bob Ross always emphasized the importance of having fun and not being too hard on yourself. And he also emphasized the importance of consistent practice. So you can improve your techniques and skills over time. Don't be afraid to experiment and have fun with your paintings. Fantastic method is people continually say, I can't draw a straight line. I don't have the talent, Bob, to do what you're doing. That's baloney. Talent is a pursued interest. In other words, anything that you're willing to practice, you can do. And this is no exception. This was actually a really fun video to do because I was interested to know what artificial intelligence would say about wet on wet landscape painting or painting along with Bob Ross. If you're looking for more tips on how to be a better wet on wet artist or painting along with Bob, this channel is perfect for you. Go down below and smash that subscribe button. Hey, while you're down there, go ahead and leave me a comment on things you'd like to see. And don't forget to hit like on that video. If you need more tips because you're thirsty for more, you can take a look over to my side right now to get some more helpful tips from me. I'll catch you all later. Take care. And I got to jump back into the Skynet. Peace.